if you are trying to cultivate that rich, wealthy, abundance lifestyle and a mindset, and you think that using the same strategies as you did last year or the years previous is going to get you to the life that you want to live, you are wrong. First money habit that I needed to change when I was going from broke to, you know, anything but broke was to stop identifying as someone who was broke. The minute you call yourself broke, the minute you verbalize the fact that you have no money and that you identify as a broke person, you are labeling yourself as broke and you are succumbing to the fact that that is who you are. In order to not be that, you need to stop identifying as that and that goes with anything in life but especially for brokenness and i don't know how many people that i have come across that say i am so broke i'm this i'm that and i'm like you are you are because you identified as that so even if you feel like that right now stop using that label to define you next money habit that was keeping me broke that i had to switch up is where i spent my time in order to not be broke i had to go from spending more money and more time spending my money to spending less time spending money and more time making money and or learning about generating more income. Education is key. Educating yourself on financial literacy, educating yourself in a way that is going to help you to get a higher paying job, whatever that is. It was so important for me to switch so that most of my days was learning and absorbing information, making money in whatever way that that was rather than spending it. So of course this looked like at the time increasing the amount I was working, increasing the level of education that I was getting, whether that be formal education, or just watching YouTube videos that were informative, reading books, something I still do to educate myself a lot even though I'm no longer in formal education, and also cutting down on spending. Instead of going and having drinks out with friends, having drinks at home that we make that is literally one-tenth of the price, or instead of meeting up for a friend for food, going out for a walk and actually having some meaningful conversation without needing to spend money on lunch. That blends into the next habit that was definitely keeping me broke, which was alcohol. I mean, I never had an alcohol problem, but you know, in my early 20s, I look back and I'm like, wow, I would go out and easily spend like $100, a lot more sometimes on a night out, just going out, drinking with friends, buying a round of shots for everyone. And now I look back on that and I'm like, oh my goodness, like that was a lot of nights doing that. I'm no regrets, to be honest. I had a lot of fun experiences and I'm happy I had those experiences in my early 20s, but I no longer do that. I do do that sometimes, right? I do go out but consistently I don't and I make healthier decisions as well for my body which does benefit my bank account as well such as not drinking alcohol all the time and instead maybe having a sparkling water or something that is more conducive to a healthier lifestyle and finally the main thing that was keeping me broke at the time was remaining uninformed and succumbing to the feeling of overwhelm that I had when thinking about anything financial. I never started with a solid foundation of financial literacy that was not passed on to me. That was not something you learn in school, at least in the schools I went to. It's not something I studied in university. It was something that was self-taught and that I had to go seek on the internet and teach myself about and read books about. It was something that I solely had to learn. And before I stepped into that world, it was very overwhelming. I didn't know anything, anything at all. And I think a lot of people are in a position where they feel the same. They feel like it's so daunting, it's so overwhelming. There's so much to know and there's so much fear that surrounds money because a lot of people have this experience of not wanting to lose what they have. So because of that, they succumb to the fears and the overwhelm and they don't learn. But that was the number one thing keeping me broke. That's, I think, in my opinion, the number one thing keeping a lot of people broke. The fact that they're experiencing this overwhelm, which is so real, but then you're not learning. And learning is not going to take you a day or a week or a month. It's like multiple years of consistent learning, even if that's just 10 minutes on a daily basis. And that is when my brokenness truly transformed because I started to be able to take control of the money that I had and my life and shape it in the way that I wanted because I understood how things worked. 
on a deeper level. The first book I read was Rich Dad Poor Dad about finances. I would recommend that to anyone who is experiencing overwhelm right now or identifying as broke. And there's a lot of things in that book that people get triggered by, <laughs> um, especially if you're not like a huge fan of capitalism. But looking past that and try to appreciate the pillars of finance and the way money works that he shares, I think that book is really timeless in that regard and it gave me a really good understanding of how money works and how to actually become rich and wealthy and that was the start of my journey which then led me to his other books which then led me to watching videos of other people and reading other books so honestly all it was is just starting the education journey if you enjoy this video you gotta check out this video and also this video which is like could definitely be a part two of this video and if you made it this far, then I'd highly recommend you check them out. Also, if you made it this far and you are not subscribed, I don't know what you're doing. Stay subscribed, notify, let me notify you, okay? I post every Monday and Wednesday and also on Tuesdays because I have a podcast that I post on here too. Three days a week, you could be seeing this beautiful face. So definitely subscribe. I hope you guys have a beautiful day. I know you will. I know you're so amazing and blessed and abundant. And I am so grateful that you found your way to this video. I will see you in my next one. Bye.